All right, guys. Uh, so for me, this this film had a lot of like at first glance like comic book elements to it, but everything is so contemporary and happens in the real world, real people. Uh, was that the part of the appeal for for both of you? I know you're doing Batman, so what was that like? Was that the part of the appeal? Well, I think that you can take a script and you can take it in a lot of different directions. One of the things that uh, that that was important to Ben and I was to ground it in a reality and not and not a heightened kind of um, a heightened feel, a heightened drama. It, we were grounding everything in reality, and that was sort of our compass through the whole film. Ben, what do you do you like about the character? Well, it's just a very original character, and and uh, so it's a lot of fun to play, and it's somebody who's expressive in different ways than I am, and so um, I had to to try to use different tools to express myself in in, in the film, and. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just a wonderfully complicated, three-dimensional, real person. Then when you get the chance to play a character like that, you know, an actor is an actor, you just you jump at it. And, and the training, I mean, <laughs> the fight scenes look like in your face, which is kind of like the way he almost uh, shoots people, too. Uh, what was that like? Was that harder than the Batman training? Or? <laughs> yeah, well, it was different. I mean, it was, de it was definitely more specific. It was really, uh, you know, and it was, it was very satisfying because the... Fights were rooted in the character, you know, in the character's choices and in his personality and the way he would talk and walk and act is also the way he would get into combat with people. So it was uh, really fun to do and, and they had great uh, stunt people and Gavin has a great eye for shooting that stuff and, uh, you know, so it was fun to make myself look a lot tougher than I really <laughs> that, that, They look really rough. Mm -hmm. but Gavin, what makes this guy the man for this job? What What's in Ben that makes him right for this character? Well, I mean, you know, it starts with being a fan of his work as an actor and as a director and I always you know like you can kind of like when I watch his movies like I just like I just feel like uh, I, I relate to them mm -hmm. so I, I had never met Ben we never worked together before so once after our first conversation where we discussed n not only the intention of the movie and you know and the ideas of the film and what we want to express in the film but then we got very specific about you know who this character is um, and we just we just felt like we were aligned in all the ideas of what we were trying to say because you know we we we're going to become partners in this in the in the movie if we're not trying to tell the same if we're not telling the same story or we disagree on the themes of the movie or the style of the movie it's never going to work so sure. I think we realized pretty quickly that we were we were sort of you know hand in hand in that and then it just became really a, a collaborative journey of discovery and you know walking you know to just doing a lot of research and, and exploring the world of autism and then after that it was just about a you know a partner who was just really committed to the process and um and and all the work it was a lot of work mm -hmm. it was just a lot of work it was like two trains running on two tracks sure. it was the all the research and and building the character and the autism world and then all the physical work which was demanding and you you guys did the research together which i think is kind of mm -hmm. rare uh when you talk to professionals about the world of autism and all that, uh, was there like a takeaway, like one thing they told you that you need to get this right in portrayal of this of this person? Actually, you know, the thing that we took away was that there wasn't one unifying mm -hmm. aspect. That, you know, in fact, you have a really diverse um, set of people who are, have a, all kinds of different realities in their life and, and different things they're good at and different things that they struggle with. And... Um, it was more about you know finding the humanity in the guy than than worrying about the you know the condition so much. And when we look, when we sat down with real people, you know we 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 got a lot of um, great sort of inspiration because we weren't, wasn't medically kind of ex clinically examining or reading through a book. It was like you know communicating with somebody and talking to them and getting a sense for what they want and what you know how they struggle to get it and and th that was the kind of thing that, that gave me the the most sort of inspiration and the strongest sense of how to play the part in a personal contact. And uh, my last question, what was the most challenging scene to shoot? Uh, for, for me, the most challenging scene w was the, uh, the, scene, the scene at, um, uh, at Creative Robotics when he uncooks the books. Mm -hmm. Th that, whole, that whole scene was, was, was daunting to me. Just because, you know, shooting, it's, in a way it's like you're shooting like an action scene, sure. but it was, it's the journey it was the one opportunity we had uh, to to give the audience the uh, the journey into Chris's mind, sure. and I knew I had one shot at that. So I just you know I was just I couldn't stop thinking about it and make sure we got it right. Perfect. I think the whole glass thing totally worked. It oh, works there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you.